15 things to know before you date a person who enjoys being alone. Dating someone who enjoys solitude can be an intriguing and rewarding experience. At first glance, you may think they are introverted or distant, but beneath the surface, there's a lot more to discover. While these individuals may love their alone time, it doesn't mean they don't crave companionship. In fact, dating them can offer a unique blend of independence, sensitivity, and deep emotional connection. Before you embark on a relationship with a person who enjoys solitude, here are 15 key things you need to know. Understanding these points will not only help you appreciate their personality, but also guide you in building a strong and fulfilling connection. 1. They are more likely to choose solitude over socializing. A person who enjoys being alone values their personal space. Solitude isn't just a preference. It's a necessity for them to recharge and reflect. Don't be surprised if they choose a quiet night in over a social event. This doesn't mean they don't enjoy spending time with others, but alone time is their default setting. 2. They do enjoy company too. Though solitude is their comfort zone, they do enjoy the company of others, especially people they feel close to. When they make time for you, it's because they truly value your presence. For them, meaningful interactions are far more important than constant socializing. 3. They can come across as standoffish. If you're dating someone who enjoys solitude, you may notice that they can appear a little distant at times. This isn't intentional, nor is it a reflection of their feelings toward you. They are simply used to relying on themselves for entertainment and fulfillment. Their seeming aloofness is often just a protective shield around their personal space. 4. They will open up as you get to know them. While they may initially seem closed off, with time and patience, they will start to open up to you. Once they feel comfortable and trust you, they will begin to reveal their inner thoughts and feelings. This process may be slow, but it's worth the wait. As you get closer, you'll uncover a deeply thoughtful and introspective side to them. 5. They will not be the life of the party. If you're hoping for a partner who thrives in crowds and is always the center of attention, you might be disappointed. People who enjoy being alone typically aren't the life of the party. Large gatherings can be draining for them, and they often prefer smaller, more intimate settings. That doesn't mean they can't have fun in social settings, but don't expect them to be the one commanding attention. 6. But that doesn't mean they don't like to party. Just because they aren't the loudest person in the room doesn't mean they don't know how to have fun. They can enjoy parties and social events just like anyone else, but in moderation. Don't be surprised if they suggest leaving early or taking breaks to recharge. They may even surprise you with their occasional bursts of energy at gatherings. 7. They can be highly sensitive. People who enjoy solitude tend to be highly sensitive to their environment and the emotions of others. They are often deeply affected by small changes in mood, tone, or body language. This sensitivity can sometimes make them seem vulnerable or easily overwhelmed, but it also makes them incredibly attuned to the needs of those they care about. 8. But this can make them thoughtful partners. Their sensitivity doesn't just create challenges, it also makes them exceptionally thoughtful partners. They are deeply in tune with your feelings and are likely to notice things that others might miss. From remembering small details about your preferences to offering emotional support when you least expect it, their attentiveness will make you feel valued. 9. They don't do well with criticism. Because they are sensitive, they may not respond well to criticism, even if it's constructive. This doesn't mean you shouldn't communicate your needs or concerns, but it does mean you should be mindful of how you phrase things. Gentle feedback works best. They're often their own harshest critics, so hearing criticism from a loved one can hit harder than intended. 10. But they do well with emotions. On the flip side, their emotional intelligence is usually quite high. They handle deep emotions well, 
and are capable of having meaningful conversations about feelings, insecurities, and vulnerabilities. If you're looking for a partner who can connect with you on an emotional level, someone who enjoys solitude can be an ideal match. 11. They rarely get a case of the FOMOs. Fear of missing out, FOMO, isn't something they experience often. In fact, they tend to be more content with staying home rather than constantly needing to be part of the action. This can be a refreshing trait in a partner, as they are less likely to pressure you into doing things you aren't comfortable with or that don't align with your own needs. 12. They march to the beat of their own drum. These individuals are not easily influenced by societal expectations or peer pressure. They live life on their own terms, guided by their own values and interests. This independence can be incredibly attractive, as they are less likely to follow trends or conform to norms. They embrace their uniqueness, which makes them stand out. 13. They are self-sufficient. Self-sufficiency is a core trait of someone who enjoys being alone. They don't need others to validate their worth or keep them entertained. This doesn't mean they don't appreciate your company or need you in their life. It just means they're comfortable on their own. In a relationship, this can be a relief, as they won't be clingy or overly dependent on you. 14. But that doesn't mean they don't have room for you. Despite their love for solitude and self-sufficiency, they can still make space for you in their lives. They crave deep, meaningful connections and will prioritize their relationship with you once they see that you respect their need for alone time. Balance is key for them, and they'll find ways to show you how much you mean to them while still maintaining their independence. 15. They are full of contradictions, but that makes dating them especially unique. Perhaps the most important thing to understand is that people who enjoy being alone are full of contradictions. They love solitude but also value connection. They are highly sensitive yet emotionally intelligent. They don't seek attention, but they enjoy meaningful interactions. These contradictions make them fascinating and unique partners. If you embrace these complexities, you'll find dating them to be a deeply rewarding experience. Final thoughts. Dating someone who enjoys being alone isn't always easy, but it can be incredibly fulfilling. Their blend of independence, sensitivity, and emotional depth makes them unique partners who value deep connections over superficial interactions. Understanding their need for solitude and respecting their personal space will go a long way in building a strong, lasting relationship. If you're ready to embrace the challenge and excitement of dating someone who enjoys solitude, you'll find that the rewards are well worth the effort. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.